If this were a full story and not a vignette, it would start with a sunrise and not a sunset. But in contrast, we started with the sun going down on the standing remains of a once thriving town. So with the light fading on this crumbling scene, we must try to fathom just what could it mean? For in stories, the concept of Chekhov's gun states that a pistol introduced in Act 1 must be fired in Act 2, or else why is it there? So, why did they place us in the middle of nowhere with the light fading out on the remains of past glory? What are they framing for Act 2 of our story? We have learned here today that Landcare grew great from a small June Care project back in 88 and has risen and fallen through new iterations across all kinds of funding and administrations. We hear words like connections and value and hope and we couple commitment with future and scope. We get told what's ideal and what is essential while we harness inspiration to our potential. But that story's not new, not in any sense. I've heard it at dozens of these events. We've heard all the data, and we know the programs. We've seen all the graphs and the Venn diagrams. There's a lot of the same faces in this standard communion. It's part info session, part family reunion. Are we fading in the final few rays of the sun? Is that what they framed up back there in Act 1? Now, I know I'll upset you with this allegory. Stay with me. Remember, this is just a story. Whether used to enlighten or used to regale, the rules of narrative structure prevail. Where we have to build tension if we are to resolve it. We must pose a problem if we are to solve it. If it's more than just meeting, and more than just greening, if this is our story, we must give it meaning. So, whether by happy accident or design and intention, this conference has given our story dimension, where our Venn diagrams and our constant refrain are layered with the scale of the Mundy Mundy Plane, where you can only feel finite and human and small, for this story outlives and outgrows us all. And if you look at a sunset and see the light fading, well you're doing it wrong. It's about colour and shading. And the remnants and ruins and forgotten schemes do not speak of failure. These things speak of dreams of knowing that fortune waits for you to find it, of taking your idea and getting behind it. And stories aren't told to reject or endorse them. Stories are retold to reinforce them. They outline our values and lay down our truth. They are written by elders and spoken by youth. So we start with a sunset and end it with dust to reinforce all of the things we've discussed and we've given our story greater scale and scope, and in challenging times, we've given it hope. There's a need for hope when you're greening the hill, and the volunteer tree is bearing fruit still. There are elephants in the room wall to wall, but the connectedness engine is driving us all. And thus, our narrative arc now concludes with a feeling of hope and new attitudes. So now all we need at the end of convening is a takeaway message to give it some meaning. There's an old saying about the best time to plant trees, but it applies to all things in times such as these. The best time was 10 years ago, well, that's what they say. But the second best time to plant trees is today.